Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Arkarth Kain doing MD Medicine with MAMC. So today we will have an explanation video for the question posted yesterday. Okay, a method where I am flexing the hip and trying to extend the knee and also trying to flex the neck and seeing for some signs. In a patient with meningitis, meaning inflammation of the coverings of the brain, we can demonstrate some clinical findings, okay, which are the Koenig sign as well as Brudzinski sign. What are those? Let's see. See here, so this is the inflamed meninges, okay. So what happens? Let's track back to our basic pathology. In any inflammation, there will be rubber, dolar, calor, tumor, loss of function. So just focus on the dolar, pain. So when you stretch an inflamed structure, what will happen? Definitely pain will improve, increase. So this is the basis for Koenig sign as well as Brudzinski sign in a case of meningitis. Okay? Meninges are inflamed. So in meningitis, the nerve roots supplying the hamstring muscles will be irritated so that our knee will be flexed and the stretched meninges is de-stretched. Okay. This is the basis going on here. First, let's see Koenig sign. So see here, actually uh, the meninges is inflamed here. So what are we trying to do? We are going to stretch the meninges by doing hip flexion as well as extending the knee. Okay, since hamstrings are in a contracted state, it will never allow you to extend the knee more than 135 degree. Okay, if it is there, then it is Koenig sign positive. It has low sensitivity, but specificity is very high, 95%. So yes, so uh, by not allowing extension, it is protecting the meninges by not causing stretching of the meninges. Okay, yes. Next is Brudzinski's leg sign. So here, same method I am going to do, flexing the hip and trying to extend the knee, but observe the other lower limb. Okay, since the nerve roots supplying the hamstrings of the other lower limbs are also irritated, they will contract and the other lower limb will flex. Their knees will flex. So the other lower limb will try to flex and it will de-stretch the stretch meninges. This is Brudzinski's leg sign. Okay. Next, Brudzinski's neck sign. What is this? You are just trying to flex the neck of the patient such that it touches its chin touches the chest. Okay. So at that time, what are you going to do? Again, I am trying to stretch the meninges. So what will my body do? Passively, hip flexion and knee flexion will be there so that to de-stretch the stretch to meninges. Okay, that's it. So you can remember like Koenig sign starts with K. Extension of knee not possible, K. Okay, at the same time, these are Brudzinski's leg sign as well as neck sign. Yes, so now we will see in our video what is happening. Yeah, what's happening here? I am flexing the hip to 90 degree and trying to extend the knee. See, it is that much inflamed that you can't even experience that extension of knee completely. Okay, so that is Koenig sign positivity. At the same time, just watch the video again. When I am trying to extend the knee, what is the other limb doing? See this? Yes. What is happening to the other limb? It is also in flexed state. Because this is Brudzinski's leg sign positivity due to contraction of hamstrings in the other lower limb. Next is, I am trying to do Brudzinski's head sign, neck sign, where I am trying to flex the neck and touch it against the chin, but we are not experiencing any uh, flexion of hip as well as knee. Okay. No. Yeah. So, uh, these, these kind of videos will help, help you in your practical, practical field, field as well as uh, this will help you in approaching patients like uh, next uh, pattern questions, questions there you will be applying your, your basic pathology, pathology in clinical, clinical medicine. medicine. Okay. If you like, if you like such kind of videos, videos just, just comment it out in your comment, comment section, section and, and subscribe, subscribe to our channel, channel for future videos like this. Thank, Thank you. you.